Well, I've got several pieces of unfortunate news for you guys. Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. Today, I'm gonna bring you to Dallas. We're going to the NARBC show and I'm hoping for this moment. It's supposed to happen there. You guys watched a video I put out. You watched a video I put out recently. I was talking about Bob Clark and Darian Joller, Darian Drollinger of Morph Market. Today in Dallas, they're supposed to meet up, shake hands, they're supposed to take a picture of it and auction it off at the Tinley auction in October as like a peacemaking type of thing. So I'm, I'm hoping that takes place. I'm hoping it's not like the time that Bob Marley put on the One Love concert and you got Michael Manley and that other politician he was running against to come on stage and join hands together and then ultimately nothing came of it. I'm hoping this will be a lasting piece that will be good for everybody. And uh, yeah. be asking yourself why why Brian? why why do you have so much stuff that it fills up an entire SUV and and this is one tenth of a ton over one tenth of a ton of equipment and I will tell you about this stuff just not not yet burger break we are filming Dave is filming Dave is filming right now for his Dave Coffin eats the world channel and we got these awesome burgers look at those burgers Dad. Oh, oh, these God. are burgers. So there's this, this burger versus burger thing that we're doing, and we're going to see which one wins. To find out which one of these burgers wins, you're going to have to go watch Dave's channel. I'll have a link in the description where Dave Kaufman eats the world. My brand new channel that's only seven months old. Dave Kaufman eats the world. Because I eat the world. <laughs> we're both like, what? What would you say? Did you say something? <laughs> Yep, that's it. It's, uh, I just think it's worth it. You know, it ends up being a lot to bring, but look at that thing. I finally brought that thing. This is the first time I actually traveled with that whole light stand to a show that I didn't drive to. So, you know, it, it, all these stands and stuff, that's just part of what it takes to have a nice, big, professional-looking setup at a show. It's got to bring big cases, and it's not, not that big a deal. It makes my traps a little stronger, and I think we're doing all right with it. I think it looks pretty good. The, the budgets of a metal band? garbage. And Brian. I got the it. Dallas NARBC show. Look, balls and strikes, ball pythons. Check that out. This is a new location for the NARBC Texas show. Moved from Arlington to Dallas and this room is a lot bigger. There's no chance that we're going to show you the whole show or even a small part of it because we're doing all the videos over there at Redline for uh, the shipping things which I'll show you guys on a different video but yeah, just checking it out. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> How are you doing? I was like, <laughs> I was just thinking, where's Tom? Hi, man. <laughs> What's up? Is it one? No, it's not time yet. No. Tom Harbin, ladies and gentlemen. Couldn't meet, really meet a better guy in the reptile world, honestly. Wow. Look at how big that is. That is massive. Enjoying the show? Yeah, absolutely, man. Every time. Cool, man. Yeah, I brought my big ones because nobody brings their big ones. Or nobody <laughs> yeah, has the big ones. <laughs> I've never seen. It's the biggest ones I've ever seen. Yeah. Why I brought in person, little. yeah. Actually, this is the biggest I've seen person too. Really? So I'm, I'm not saying that it's the biggest, but it's the biggest I've seen. All right, Carl, South Tex Gex, check him out. The biggest, biggest leashies I've ever seen in person. Apparently, the biggest ones he's seen too. So I'm not just, I'm not just tripping. You have like a channel or something? Or uh, I do. What, what is it? Uh, Brian Cusco. I'm actually going to be out at the uh, the finals for the build off uh, this summer oh, okay. at Emily's place. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I was there for the first one and then came in third place, so I'll oh, go nice, out for nice. the finals. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice to you. This summer, when Emily has her big uh, build off, I'm going to go for the finals. Okay. How goes it? You have to look at the camera. Though. <laughs> Mr. John Dag, ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that guy right there. It's good to see that's you. A, that's a good. It's good to see you, man. Hey. Black and white. It's it's in. It's in. It's in. Some grays, that's fine too. <laughs> Color, out. 
So that is Fire, Orange Dream, Leopard, and Spider Exanthic. Makes for a very different looking animal. Best part is no pastel, it's just Fire and Orange Dream making it that light. No pastel? No pastel. Wow. I did. I have some Redline Report shirts, but just so this video stays, con just so that people know, it is a different day, but you wouldn't know by the clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> How are you, Brian? You finally want to film something. Come on, do a big old flex or something. A flex? to name him after a cartoon rat from Back to the Barnyard named Biggie Cheese. It was like a rapper rat with like a chain on its neck. And I'm like, I'm gonna call you Biggie Cheese. All right. Hi! Hi, Ryan. How you doing? We just got here. Yeah, Walking just around. hanging out, recorded a podcast Thursday, went to Bill's yesterday. It was a great time. What about you? I've been with them. Look at these guys, dude. What a crew. Join the crew. Dude, literally yesterday we were getting our haircuts and, I, and we're in the car. I'm driving. I turn around and I was like, "These are bold." <laughs> My wife would kill me. Hello, Matt Fangio. How's it going? Good. How are you? I really have to pee. <laughs> All right, we're with Zach Part Part and his dog Drea. I want to hear about you guys' little setup. Are you okay being on video? I didn't ask you, I was like, here, are you gonna be on video? I just want to, I understand that like you guys have a competition going for who can sell more and, and is that true? Yes, I'm yeah. winning. Are you gonna win? I always win. Yo. She does not always win. But she, there are a good amount of times where she does, but she's winning right now, she's winning right now. I say 95% of the time. Yeah, but you know, Sometimes the pupil surpasses the master. She had to learn it somewhere. <laughs> a raise. It says deserves a raise. So have you gotten that raise? No. Is she lying? She's lying. She got a raise like right be the week before he sent me that actually. He didn't even know. He has no clue what I pay her. And he's all like, I don't know what you pay her, but she's awesome. She needs a raise, whatever it is. Like, trust me, if you have a kid wanting to do stuff out here like this, like you wish your kid did like this. She doesn't sit here and play on her phone. She is selling snakes, engaged, getting people when they walk past the table, you know, and her conversion rate of new people in the hobby is just what's really stellar, is the people who've never held a snake. The people who come here with their kid and they're like, ah, their kid talked them into coming here because they like it, but they're not sure about it. She gets out there and she gets mom and dad holding the snake, gets the kids involved, and that's what a lot of us lose track of. You know, it's like the simplicity of it. We start breeding these nicer snakes and start getting away from like, you know, the beginner snakes and stuff, and I like we lose sight of it. And so it's good having that at the table. And she just really touches baseball and good too. Lock on, dude. Yawning. It's Phil yawning, everybody. <laughs> get a little closer. I'm not sure you got close enough. You may want to get a little closer. I'm doing it, Doctor. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What's going on? <laughs> I just wanted some positive <laughs> encouragement from Mr. Phil Goss. Yes, all the positivity. What do you mean? You're the you're Mr. Positivity. Yeah, but but you know more things and still stay some pr pretty positive. Yes, only when you're around, though. Oh. You bring you bring it all all the positivity to the U.S. Art booth, and it's great. Thanks, Bill. Good to see you. <laughs> you too, man. Two stamps, four, six, eight, ten. Flip one more. Bam! Yeah, thank you. Oh, awesome thank job. You. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Join the show. Thank you. See, I could have done that unless you had been in the booth.
got several pieces of unfortunate news for you guys. Uh, first thing is, well, I guess there's a benefit to this one. I, I stink really bad, but lucky for me, uh, Morph Market has brought Morph Market deodorant. So there's that. Uh, other bummer is that uh, I broke one of my cameras, which isn't really surprising. It'll get replaced, but I just won't have anything to shoot on uh, for a couple more days as far as the third camera. That's not a big deal. Never mind. That, that one's fixable real soon. It's going to be fixed very quickly. Uh, the most unfortunate news I think that I have for you today is that the show is over. And I, there was no handshake. No handshake to be talked about or shown. So... Hey, you know what? You can't win them all. Sometimes your cameras break, sometimes you don't get the handshake, but that's okay, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> okay. Now he's gonna try to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> no kissing, no kissing. Okay, how about this? All right, there we go. Man, you guys are beautiful, man. That's you got beautiful. a picture? I'm getting, I've got 370 pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's enough.